All right, well, I'm taking a look at Squirtle's new game mode. It's new-ish. It actually came out a few weeks ago when I was on vacation, and then I just haven't had a chance to get to a, trying it yet. Um, but there's the new Squirtle 24. And so this is, um, it's it's like the normal, if you're not familiar with Squirtle, Squirtle's like Wordle on a grid. We're guessing a row and a column at the same time. This nine in the middle is how many guesses we have remaining. And the difference with this 24 one is um, there's 24 words in the grid. So uh, you can see there's, there's these edges that are a little bit thicker here, the darker lines. So that basically shows that this is not a word across here. So it looks kind of like the weekly minus the space in the middle, um, except, or sorry, I said 24 words. It's 24 letters. It's not 24 words. It's 24 letters. Let's clear that up. before. <laughs> but basically, we're still doing, you know, the vertical. There's four vertical, four horizontal, but the middle here doesn't go across and up and down, if that makes sense. So uh, it's a little different than the weekly. And so there's, there's, the problem with the weekly is there's only so many ways that you can put you know, 10 words in a grid and have it work. So this gets gives them a little more flexibility with sticking words in there that wouldn't fit on a weekly grid. So anyways, uh, I mean, obviously, new version of Squirtle, I'm starting with store every time. Okay, wow. Well, that was, that was pretty good, but also not good at the same time. But <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking RST, something like that. Um... So let's do, you know, normally I would do store punch and daily, but I like the daily for the Y in the bottom right corner, and that's going to put it in this fourth spot. So um, if it is RST, then there would have to be a vowel second here. What would, but it can't be O or E, it would have to be A. Uh, I mean, you could do like worst like that. So we could do something with a U. It wouldn't be terrible. Uh, I would do, uh, we could do uncle. The E isn't terrible because there is an E in this last column, but there's not an E in the last row. Otherwise, that's not bad. It's pretty good new letters. I don't know. Let's just do uncle. Why not? <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> that's funny because I was thinking the U, N, C, and L were good ones to check. And the E was the bad one. <laughs> it was the opposite of that. Okay. So it's not worst with a U. So it's not worst with an O. This would have to be... Ah, we could do... It could be first. First. That would have... That should have been my first thought. All right. Well, I'm thinking S here. We know there's not an S down here. But we could still do S. Um, S-H-I. That's not bad. Or S-H-A. We could go for some more E's. We could do something like shame or there is, uh, yeah, no. I was going to say there is an R in the row, but it's not It's not going to be fourth because the yellow up there. So, ah, SHR might be nice to check because there is an R in the fourth row and it would, you know, potentially rule out the R up here if that's wrong or, or can, you know, confirm that there could be an R up there. Then I'm thinking something like shred. That's not terrible. H and D are new letters. See if there's an E in the fourth row and column. Sure, let's go for that. Okay. Well, we know that this is not first because there's not an R up there. Okay. Uh, it could still be ST. Uh, the R... The R down here is second or fifth now. So let's do an R here. Um, T. <laughs> we could do Tiara. But I'd like to do a Y in that bottom corner. Uh, it could be... Oh, man. We could... I mean, this could be teary. But I don't really want to do the E because we've already got it here and there's no E down there. But I don't know how else to do... We can't do it without the E, though. 
And if it's not teary, then... You know, the R is bad, the E is bad, yeah. But if it's right, that would be that would be great. Hmm. All right, let's just go for it. Let's go for it. Take a chance. Okay, that was still pretty good. Still pretty good. Oh, there's a Y. Okay, this is a Y. Ooh, okay. So, uh, and there's an R. This is an R. That's not, which makes this a T. Oh, it's artsy. It's going to be artsy. That's a definite Y. Years or yearn. This could be an S or an N. Okay, it's not going to be another R. So this is a definite R as well, which is interesting. So this word starts and ends with R. Something like radar would be possible. We need to have an E in this fourth column. It's not fourth, it's not fifth. Could be second or third. See, it's weird because I'm used to putting an E here and thinking how does that connect with this A, but it doesn't. It doesn't matter for that one. And, and up here you could do, I mean the double E isn't necessarily a problem, so. We do need an N somewhere in the grid, and it's not in the second row and column. So it could be yearn. Yearn's pretty good. Let's go with yearn for now. It could be years, but let's let's start with yearn and see how that goes. Uh, there's an A first or fourth then. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Otherwise, it has to be here, and then we've got an A A, which is, which is okay, but. What's this going to be, like Argon? I suppose that's possible. Or it could be, oh no, it can't. I was going to say it could be Organ if we put the A back there, but the O can't be at the beginning, so Argon. Uh, what's this A to A going to be? Uh, alpha? No, there's no L. No H either. Hmm. I don't know. We're back to the top, though. I mean, I could do artsy, because we know that's right. Uh, it's not going to get us any information about other words, though. So, this S ending in an O, what would that be? We need to have an E. It's, um... I don't know if I like that. So, maybe not Argon. What else would this be? Hmm, so maybe, maybe, maybe the A is over here then? Uh, oh, there's an, oh, look, the red O. Okay, so this could be an O. It could be something like grown. That's not bad, that's not bad. Then this would be S ending in A. would that be though still need to have an e i feel like it's going to be s e sepia oh sepia is not bad i haven't checked p and i yet sepia and grown okay i'm liking where this is going now this ends in a double e which it's probably okay And this is IR, which isn't bad. There's a D. D D I R? Uh na Nadir Nadir? I'm not Nadir. I'm not sure how to uh, it's the it's the um lowest point, right? It's the opposite of the zenith, I think. I think so. And N G, okay, so I N G A I N G I mean it could be could be aging, it could be aping, it could be, I don't know, a few things. This could be radar. Radar. Oh man, what would this be? Aping, aging. Oh, yeah. Payee. 
with another Y. Yeah, I think I think so. All right, so let's just go for. Let's see. Does it matter? Oh, now this is interesting because. Oh, you can't pick up the so. These ones in the middle row and column, you can't get on the other direction, right? So like this D here, we, we can get it on the second column, but we can't get it in the third row like you can on normal Squirtle. So we're going to have to do the Y, uh, the second, we're going to have to do the second row and column twice to get the Y and the D, and the fourth row and column twice to get the P and the D. And the same for the I and the T and the O and, yeah, just the O, not the A, right? So, yeah. So if we do the rows, we're going to do four rows. And then we're still going to have the I, the D, and the P left to get, which will take three more guesses. I don't think there's any way to avoid that. And if we did columns first, we're going to do all four columns to get the Y and the N. We'll have to do the fourth one. Yeah, so let's just do, let's just do artsy, payee, nadir, grown, and then we'll have to do aping, and radar, and sepia in order to finish off the grid. There we go, very nice, well, Ended up with five. I guess uh, I don't. I don't even know what's a good final score on the new version, but that feels like it wasn't too bad. It's interesting how you know because of the non not having the third row and column, you can't pick up those letters on the other direction. So that'll definitely make a difference on the, you know the final number there. But anyways, all right, interesting puzzle. Let me know if you've been playing this new version and what you think of it. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more.